So we jumped on the Bahama Boat Works 41 and we're gonna take you on a quick tour of this customized beauty that they came up with. Bunch of release marine products as you can see with this rocket launcher, the accessories like the armrests, even up here above the leaning post. But let's go ahead and start with the power. This boat has quad 450Rs from Mercury Racing, pushing it upwards of 72 miles an hour. And you'll do about one mile per gallon at around 45 miles per hour. And this is a 22,000 pound boat, so very respectable. And if you see this, I mean, this is the best seat in the house right here. You can probably fit six people comfortably. You're not gonna bounce back here towards the transom area. So excellent addition up high and you have a removable backrest here, which is really comfortable and convenient. To pop this out of the way though, if you get that headrest out, you actually have a 60 gallon live well with an optional plexiglass lid. You see our transom door over here with the seamless Gemlux hardware, it's really nice. You got a little sink area with fresh and salt water wash downs here. Close this away. There you have your full bench. So we're gonna start here. They have this, this channel back here, which actually all the water that seeps in through any of these holes, whether you're washing the boat, whether you happen to take a, a wave over the bow, a bunch of rain, whatever it is, it all ends up in this channel, which escapes through the side of the boat. So none of that water ends up ending up ending up in your bilge whether you have fish blood on the boat none of that ends up in your bilge area and you can see these guys have one of the prettiest bilges in all of the industry every section is closed off so wherever you're working you can open that panel you have your sea chest right here your bilges any valves you want to get to extremely comfortable and clean and you can use this as storage since it's all closed off and you don't have all those valves and pumps exposed. You can see up to the bow area, you do have a sea keeper, which we're gonna show you right now. Check out this beautiful release marine rocket launcher though. I mean, really nothing I could say about that. If you know, you know, they don't get much prettier and the accents and the it pops on this boat so nicely with the white, you can see it from a mile away and it brings a lot of value to the boat. So here you have a Seakeeper 3, which is super nice on this boat. Very clean in here. And one thing that these guys do amazingly is they have a dual gasketed system, which right here you can see on the inside, they have a stronger gasket, kind of firm, and they have a softer black one up here. So if the water's seeping in through here, it's not gonna make it through two of these. So they pretty much guarantee you're not gonna get any water from the deck. Even if you had three feet of water here, it's not gonna make it into your sea keeper area or your bilge or any of the hatches for that matter. If you can see this right here, they actually even angle this section of the leaning post, our cooler rear bench seat here. So it accommodates this door, letting you maximize that opening and giving you better access to the interior here. So they thought of the little things, which we can definitely appreciate. Extremely nice looking rear bench seat here. Again, release marine armrests, which you can tuck away. If more comfortable for you, then you have a really nice cooler in here with chill plates on this one in particular. So really nice to keep all your drinks cold. You barely need any ice for that scenario right there. Beautiful piping they have here, really simplistic, which we like. We don't tend to like you know, tons of piping everywhere, so it's really nice to see. Very clean and simple. We got more teak, release marine stuff. Three more captain's chairs up here as well. Extremely nice. You can drop these down if you want to jump up there and have a seat if you're taking a long trip, or most of the time, you know, you're kind of just leaning on it, hence the leaning post name. So you have a 12 inch JL Audio subwoofer. They got JL Audio sound throughout this entire boat. And before we make it here, actually, let me show you what we have under this area before we skip it. We got tons of storage here. Tackle, hold it for your fluorocarbon, pretty much anything you need to take with you. You have it here, heavy duty compartments. If you look underneath here as well, you can see how well these boats are built and there's a little valve here, which we're gonna talk to you about 
in a second, but keep that in mind right by the transom door here, which opens inward. And this rocket launcher, basically you adjust it, move it to the side and you can open it all the way in case you're gonna ask about that. Gives you great access to jump in and out of the dock if you're gonna do any diving. And that little valve right there is exactly where it needs to be. So before we get up to that, we got a really nice Edson wheel here, bow thruster, two 16 inch Garmin units. You got your switch panel, port and starboard here, tucked away, they light up when they're in use. You got a FLIR camera on this one, Optimus 360 joystick, obviously your throttle, great visibility here and up top, you got storage for your dry goods, your Mercury vessel view, your ICOM VHF. You can close all that away. And if you are jumping off at a restaurant or leaving the boat overnight over in the Bahamas, raise that up, lock it, good to go. More storage right there. Your wallet, dry goods, things you wanna, you wanna get out of the way. I think I opened that incorrectly. We'll figure that out. So we're working our way up towards the bow. Continue that way. Got your good sea keeper sign. This lounger is extremely interesting. Besides being really nice with, again, the Release Marine armrest, adjustable, really nice upholstery on all this. Crack this baby open and check out that organization null unit. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what I can come up with. You can basically put beer bottles or cans. We'll, uh, we'll go more PG on that one. Um, bottle, bottles here, you can organize your food, keep it all separate. You have all those compartments for that. You have chill plates on both sides, so you really don't even need ice in here at all. Basically, those chill plates will take care of bringing these drinks down to, and food, whatever temperature you'd like. You don't even have to stress the ice. So on this one as well, we got forward seating, and these are huge. You can see the size and the length of these things. I mean, you can fit two of me lengthwise here, or you can lay down and have room to spare. Again, re release marine backrests. And if we open this up, we have chill plates on both sides of this as well. Take a look in here, you can see that both sides, I mean, this thing's gotta stay cold. No worries whatsoever for ice. If you wanna throw a few bags of ice in there, um, it's up to you. So we got a windlass up at the bow of this one. And if we jump over here, we can take a look at that. You guys want to see it all? Very nice setup, through hole, windless, nice and clean. If you don't want to deal with the anchor, that's the way to go. So if you step over this way, let's open this hatch. Massive, massive fish box. Again, you got the dual gasketed system up towards the bow. You have the bow thruster, easy access for maintenance. And then back here, among other things, you have your compressor for your Brownie's third lung. So you have your whole setup down here. And back there at that valve, over by the side door, you can connect your hose, whether it be 80 feet, 100 feet, whatever you purchase of hose length, drop that line out the side door and you're diving with actual oxygen it's not compressed air you can be down there all day long if you want which is actually amazing and incredible to have you know included in this boat full time you don't have to bring the large tube with you um, it's a ton of gear and you kind of have it on the boat and whenever you need it it's there for you so let's work our way to the last big one here we have the console cabin crack this open see how sturdy that door is have a deadbolt lock here so this is a serious locking mechanism you can lock your stuff in here with total confidence got some teak accents down there on the floor area give it a nice touch some rod storage along the starboard side you got your head and then if you look down this way you got an unbelievable amount of storage you look up you see the rigging how clean everything is just check that out you got your batteries easy access down in there you could fit four people laying down in this area just for representation. One more thing, this whole back panel, if you guys like easy access to your rigging for any sort of maintenance, you got your 
battery switches there, ignition switches, everything back here. Shore inverter, refrigeration, Garmin units obviously, uh, Sea Keeper module. And this whole panel completely opens. You can get to everything without having to struggle at all whatsoever. It does not get any more convenient than that. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, but I doubt you can tell me I'm wrong. Come out here. I think we uh, basically have covered it all. We wanna thank you guys for spending the time with us. The sun is starting to go down here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We wanna thank Bahama Boat Works for giving us the time to walk through this 41 custom. Absolutely gorgeous. Everyone involved in this boat, JL Audio, Garmin, Release Marine, Mercury Racing, excellent collaboration. So thank everyone for having us involved. Thank you guys for taking the time. Subscribe to our channel if you find value in these videos. We really appreciate it. We want to do more and more and more and more and provide you the information you need when you get ready to buy a boat. You can do your research with us and we'll answer any questions that we possibly can. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere you find center consoles only. And thank you again. We look forward to seeing you once again soon.